karibu kwenye channel ya Dr. Mero Lectures tunafundisha masomo ya sayansi, physics, chemistry, mathematics pamoja na biology kwa syllabus ya Tanzania na kwa level pamoja na advanced level. Dr. Mero Lectures for your better next exams performance. Subscribe, share and like this video. In the previous period we looked about the generalized structure of the gut and in this period we are continuing with the main regions of the gut. Now we will be discussing each region and how does it help in the the process of digestion. So as we know the gut is composed of major regions which are first is mouth and buccal cavity. Mouth and buccal cavity or sometimes you may tame at the same thing. Then we have pharynx, we have esophagus, we have stomach, and small, we have small intestine, we have large intestine, and cecum and appendix. Uh, in our discussion, we will be de dealing more with uh, almost uh, four to five parts among these. We will be dealing with the mouth and the buccal cavity first. Then we shall see what happens in the esophagus because mouth and buccal cavity, some of the digestions are taking place there. But in the esophagus, no digestion, actually, no digestion for your level. No digestion, but there is some of the movement of food you need to lean. Then in the stomach, we will study about digestion and many of the things. Then in the small intestine, about the digestion and absorption and its adaptation. Then we will end up with large intestine. And now, let's start uh, about the structure and the function of each part of the gut. First, we are starting with the buccal cavity, which is also called sometimes as the mouth. The buccal cavity is the chamber just inside the mouth. Just inside the mouth. So, mouth can actually come um domo uku njeoku. Mouth is sometimes, sometimes, some of people they consider lips or this opening, opening in the mouth. Like in buccal cavity, ni um dani, um dani, um domo, kinyua, kinyua. The buccal cavity. So the buccal cavity is the chamber just inside the mouth in which food is chewed. Yani chakula kinatafuna. During chewing, the, ma the muscle, muscular tongue moves food along the mouth and mixes and moistens it with saliva. Kwa tongue na mix food pamoja na, na kumix pamoja na na manisha ina, ina mix na pia ina, ina moist. Naona, ina moist. Na pia ina move with the food. I move the food in a girls, a girls. So the tongue possess test buds. Tongue possess test buds that contain receptors sensitive to sweet, salty, sour, and a bitter substance. A simple in bone or condition learning reflex results in the stimulation of the sal uh, salivary uh, stimulation of the salivary gland to secrete saliva. The eye and the olfactory smell receptor in the nose are also important receptor in triggering reflex that bring about salivation. So, salivation, iyo ni, ni receptor ambazo ni munganiko. Kwanza kuna simple in bone or conditioned, ambayo mtu nakuwa na juwa mda fulani na kula chakula ko, kutatu ule mda ukia, ukifika mata na kwa mija. Au kuna njia kuona chakula, au kusikia alufi ya chakula. Ndiyo mana uwa soiri ingina sima unatunguza puwa. Unatunguza puwa is because of smell of food yambawe itasabisha salivation. Kwa hiyo, we discussed them later in the part of, of nervous control of digestive secretions. Now about 1.5 dm cube of saliva are produced by humans each day by the salivary glands. Saliva is the water secretion containing the enzyme, enzyme salivary amylase and lysosome and the other components which are mucus with choline with chloride ions kwaona na kwamba uh, saliva ina ina kazi mbalimbali mbali. na hata hapo tunaenda kuangalia rules za sa, saliva kwa hiyo kwenye rules za saliva hapo utakuja kuangalia tuna discuss ni kama kitu kimoja kimoja lakini ile iliyoandikwa hapa kama rules ukiulizwa moja moja unahitaji hiyo so the mucus in saliva and various mineral salt, including chloride ions, they speed up the activity of enzyme. It contains mucus and, and chloride ions which speed up the activity of enzyme. Uh, the mucus also moistens and lubricates the food and makes it easier to swallow. 
protects the gums against the abrasion and facilitates taste and smell. Also, salivary amylase present in the stomach begins the digestion of starch. Why we are saying begins? Because there is continuation of digestion of starch in the duodenum. So, this begins the, the digestion of starch, first to shorter polysaccharide and then to disaccharide maltose. Uh, a current hypothesis is that amylase in saliva releases food particles that are stuck to the teeth, thereby reducing the nutrients avail available to microorganisms living in the mouth. So this is the, just the current idea. Kwamba inazikana kabisa saliva ya amylase yenyewe inasaidia kuondoa vyakula ambavyo vipo kwenye nafasi za meno. Vile vyakula vilivyo kwenye nafasi za meno vikiendelea kukaa pale bacteria wanakuwa nakaa pale microorganisms tukizungumzia microorganisms most often ni bacteria kwa mazingira mdomoni ni bacteria sababu kuna virus inaweza kaishi mdomoni virus hakuna anaweza kuishi mdomoni so na kuna fungi some of fungi wanaweza kaishi lakini most often is bacteria then you have lysosome lysosome in the in the saliva help to kill bacteria which are potentially harmful by catalyzing the breakdown of the cell wall so eventually the semi solid partially digested food particles are stuck together and molded into a bolus or pellet by the tongue this then pushes it towards the pharynx from here as a result of reflex action it is swallowed into the esophagus via pharynx kwa hapo pharynx yenyewe kazi yake ni kupitisha tu cha chakula hiyo bolus tuna jump kwenda wapi esophagus now, esophagus is the narrow muscular tube lined by stratified squamous epithelium. And the matter is some epithelium will you to fika us shangai. Stratified squamous epithelium ni kitu gani? Na esophagus imekuwa lined na stratified squamous epithelium kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu ya friction ambazo zinatokana na food. All parts of the body ambazo zinakuwa zina zina frictions huwa mara nyingi zinakuwa covered na stratified squamous epithelium. That's why tunataka study later au hata kama tuta study lakini ukija kuona utakuja kuona kwenye kwenye vagina imekuwa covered pia na stratified squamous epithelium. Why it is covered by stratified squamous epithelium because of the uh, because of the friction which comes from from copulation. So if if it could not be covered by the stratified squamous epithelium there could be some of the wounds which could be formed so that's very important in all body, body parts which have friction now peristalsis we are talk, in human in human it's about 25 cm long and quickly convey food and fluid by peristalsis from the pharynx to stomach now what is peristalsis peristalsis uh, we are saying that food is pushed through the gut by the muscles of the muscularis externa as we said earlier in the previous section so the outer longitudinal and inner circular layer of the muscles in the gut wall uh outer longitudinal and inner circular layers of the gut wall behind the bolus our pellet of the food the circular muscles contract squeezing and constricting the gut in the front of the food the longitudinal muscles contract shortening the section of the gut and pulling it past the advanced bolus so bolus they they appear as if they are succeeding to each other so in front of the bolus the longitudinal muscle contract behind the bolus the circular muscle contract other types of movement are possible in the stomach and small intestine which ensure stirring and mixing of food strictly speaking these are not described as peristaltic movement. Kwa movement nyingine ziko kwenye intestine hata kwenye stomach ambazo zina mix food. Zinakuwa zina stia, zinachanganya, lakini they are not peristaltic. For example, the gut may be constricted in several parts at once. That is called segmental movement. And sometimes sections of the intestine suddenly and rapidly shortens throwing food from one end to other end and thus throughout mixing it. So they are not peristaltic movement. Now let's jump to the stomach. Let's jump to the stomach. Uh, the stomach in human is situated below the diaphragm, diaphragm, and on the left side of the abdominal cavity. 
kwa kushoto kuna kwa kuna stomach kulia kuna kwa kuna liver i to the muscular bag which can stretch to take in food when unstretched the stomach wall lies in folds but when when full distended it can it can hold nearly 5 dm cube of food and the folds disappear it is the number of function so uh stomach if it is unfolded it it lies in folds it lies in folds lakini inakuwa na mikunjo mlenda lakini bila hivyo inakuwa haina mikunjo na ndio maana some of the elderly people wanavyokuwa wanachinja kama ngombe kuna aina ya stomach kwa sababu ngombe ana four types of stomach all of the uh, herbivores ana kuna types four types of stomach kuna tumbo analita kitabu why the them call it kitab because it has folds inside like pages of the of the book so functions of stomach kwanza it is store food for temporary after meal releasing food slowly into the rest of the gut here kwanza temporary store food na kulize food slowly pili it continues mechanical digestion by its chaining action this is made more efficient by the fact that unlike other regions of the gut stomach in a process three layers of smooth muscle instead of two namely outer longitudinal middle circular and inner oblique kwa kuna longitudinal circular na nani oblique oblique hayuko kwingine naona kwa huku ina kuna kwa kuna nani kuna oblique sio tena circular kama ilivyo kwenye other parts of the of the gut the stomach also contains endocrine cells which secrete the hormone gastrin tutaenda kuona kwa mbele gastrin kazi yake nini kwenye kipindi cha hormone nervous control pia the thick mucosa contain mucus secreting epithelial cell uh, the mucus provide a barrier between the stomach and mucosa and gastric juice and prevent the the stomach self digestion ko in a prevent contact kati ya stomach mucosa pamoja na na gastric juice gastric juice ingekuwa na gusa tu stomach mucosa self digestion ingetokea uh, the main part of the stomach is dotted with numerous gastric pit numerous gastric pit these lead into long tubular gastric glands formed by the folding of epithelium and the glands are lined with cells which secrete gastric juice ko gastric glands zinazo zina kwa very long na zikisha kwa very long zina kwa pia zina nini zina kwa formed by the folding of epithelium now there are two specialized types of cell There are two specialized types of cell. Parieto cells pamoja na chief cell. Chief cell also known as zymogen cell. Kwa nini zinaitwa zymogen cell? Kwa sababu zinatengeneza inactive enzymes. They secrete inactive enzymes, pepsinogen and proleanin. Inactive enzymes are known as zymogens as we discussed earlier in the part of biochemistry. Na pia tuna aina pili ya cell ambazo zinaitwa parieto cell. A parieto cell also known as oxtiki oxtinki cells they secrete dilute solution of hydrochloric acid kwa hiyo hizi unaziona zymogen hcl zote ni compound the the gastric juice as we shall discuss later now let's see let's see about the digestion in the stomach digestion in the stomach Uh, kwenye stomach the acid and the pepsinogen are secreted by different kinds of cell kama tulivyoona hapo juu acid inakuwa secreted by parieto kwa hiyo nyingine inakuwa secreted by nani by chief cell so the two ingredients do not mix until they are released into the lumen of the stomach acid pamoja na pepsinogen as mix kule kule ndani mpaka zifika lumen of the stomach kwa nini zinge mix kule kule ndani zingekosa mucus hence self digestion of the cell ingetokea So gastric acid secretion is controlled by nervous this is not gastric acid it is gastric juice uh, gastric juice gastric juice secretion is controlled by nervous impulse and hormones as we will dis- discuss later now tuangalie hiyo secretion to discuss baadaye kwenye kipengele cha nervous control tuangalie compound za gastric juice pamoja na kazi zake I know most of you still remember them from your all level all level biology but it's not bad to memorize first we have water water is involved in the dissolution and activation of the compound of gastric juice 
lakini we have mucus mucus created by the epithelial cells called goblet cells the mucus provides a barrier between the stomach mucus and gastric juice and prevent the stomach self digesting our component ya tatu ni hcl hcl it has several functions hapa zimeandikwa tano ya kwanza it make the stomach content ph kutoka kwenye moja hadi 2.5 ideal this ph is optimal for functioning of the enzymes in the stomach lakini pili the acid kills many bacteria thus acting as a defense mechanism tatu it denatures many proteins their tertiary structure is altered making them unfold and so easier to digest kwa hiyo acid hii ina denature many proteins maana kinasaidia katika protein ya protein denaturation pamoja na protein digestion uh, pia acid it convert pepsinogen and proline into the active form or sometimes you can say it it it, it activate so it converts or activates it converts or activates pepsinogen and proline and then acid also begin the hydrolysis of sucrose to glucose and fructose however this uh, this hydrolysis is not complete in human being because we have no enzyme which can hydrolyze sucrose uh, but in, in in other animal after the beginning of this hydrolysis the hydrolysis ends up in the small intestine then you have pepsin our uh, pepsin is also a component of pepsin is also a component of of gastric juice as we discussed earlier about components of gastric juice so pepsin is the component of gastric juice and pepsin a uh, pepsin hydrolyzes protein into small peptides hydrolyzes protein into small peptides so that's that is pepsin but also we have lenin uh, we have lenin the function of lenin lenin coagulates casein casein ni nini ni soluble milk the soluble protein of milk into insoluble calcium salts of casein in the place of calcium ions so presence of calcium ions in the stomach calcium ions are act kama enzyme activator kama tulivyosema kule kwenye kwenye enzymes kwa hiyo hiyo hapo inasaidia huyo nani renini aweze kufanya kazi hii diagram unayoiona hapa this is the the structure of the stomach the structure of the stomach na kama ambavyo unaweza kuona hapo unaweza kuona hapo tumerebo different types of cell ah tumerebo different types of cell ili uweze kuona vizuri kuona vizuri kwa hiyo hapa manake this is the stomach wall this is the structure of the stomach wall now from here from this structure of the stomach wall this is what you call chief cell secreting zymogens then from chief cell uh, from chief cell we have parieto cell Palliative cell the secreti HCL so we we'll have parieto cell and then from there we have mucus cell which appear as red the mucus cell appears as red so you see this red cell the mucus cell this uh yellow cell the chief cell and then parieto cell the pink cell ah uh, wameka kwenye rangi tofauti tu elewe ili tu understand na unaona gastric gland hii yote hii ni gland manake hii ni gastric pit hii ni wall of the stomach ni gastric pit na iko kwenye mikosa kwa unakuja kuona kwamba mucus kitoka hapa ndio kule outside then hapa ikitoka ni enzymes inaenda outside hcl kitoka inaenda wapi outside so you see ah uh, kwamba the gastric gland have three three types of cells that is a different components of the gastric juice in mucosa and chief cell kwa ukija kuangalia huko juu kuna pits hizi pits ndio gastric pits huku ndani ukija kuangalia hapo kuna piti hapo kuna piti hapa kama mashimo hivi huku ndani tunasema kwamba the interior surface of the stomach wall is highly folded and dotted with pits leading into the tubular gastric gland ah uh, 
so this is the structure of the wall or structure of the wall of the stomach and here we have some of the few points to note and then from there so I beg you to, to, to be with me in the next period let you end up here let it not make you tired let you end up here and in the next period we will finish with stomach and then we will start with the small intestine thank you Asante kwa kuongelea chana ya Dr. Mero. Ninaamini umeelewa kipindi na kama hujaelewa chochote waweza kucomment hapo chini. Click link ya kwenye description kujoin your Telegram group kwa ajili ya discussion. Usisahau kusubscribe, kushare video kwa marafiki pamoja na kulike video hii.